Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It looks like Samsung has released the Beta 4 for One UI 6 for our Galaxy Z Fold 5. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. Okay, so the latest beta 4 for One UI 6 for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 has been released. This uh, new update comes in an 800 megabyte file, and this version ends in ZWJH. So let's go ahead and install this, and we'll take a look at everything that's new, any of the known issues, and any of the bug fixes. Okay, now that we've installed, it looks like uh, bugs that have been fixed is improvement in the stability of the software. Some of the known issues are the disappear minimize close button on split screen while using DeX. Sometimes FC occurs during camera pro mode shooting and sometimes the quick panel background is displayed black. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the camera pro settings and see if we can uh, recreate this FC that was mentioned in the known issues. No FC here. It does mention that this was specific to the Z flip. So maybe this is not something that happens on the fold. Okay, another known issue that was mentioned uh, specifically to the flip, but we'll take a look at the fold, is that this, sometimes the quick panel background is displayed black. So let's go ahead and swipe down here and see if uh, we get that same result. And it looks like this may only be uh, specific to the flip, uh, not the fold. As we can see, uh, there is no black background uh, when we swipe down for the quick pan. And it looks like that's it for the beta four for One UI 6. Take a look at the animations real quick and see if there's any changes here. So far it looks pretty fluid and pretty quick. Uh, what do you think? If you're finding this video helpful, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell notification so you'll be updated when new videos are uploaded. Appreciate you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Remember, if you want to be a part of the beta, use your Samsung Members app and register, and you'll be able to download the latest betas when they're released.